So, in the last section, we implemented metadata and then attempted to preview a query and saw that that failed. So, today we're going to pre uh, implement execute query and return data from our Hello World connector. So, I'm going to go to Visual Studio. Um, right here, we had the execute query method. I'm going to implement that. So if you look here, we have, <clears throat> I'm saying, uh, get a new local data storage, and that's uh, probably going to need a using statement there. Visual Studio will help me figure out which one. And local data storage is an abstraction of a, a data storage, which in our case will be the file system. But it's preferable to use the local data storage abstraction and not use the file system because in, a, in an agent environment, you never know what's going to happen with the file system. Think agents can be moved around. Um, so right here, we create a new storage. And then we are going to be trying to read data from a location we've made unique here, which is going to use the greeting template property name. And, and with our connection, the username is an indicator of uniqueness for an endpoint. So using these two things, that's going to be a unique location for our connector. Um, we're going to try to read a value out of that. But if it's null or white space, we're going to return hello world. Um, since we haven't implemented writing, right at this point, it is going to be uh, null or white space. So we're going to uh, actually just return that hello world. And then in this case, we're using iterators to yield a single data entity um, with the, the entity name that we have provided. It's got no children and it has just the single message property um, returned in it. And we're going to format that using the username. Now since there's no um, parameterized values in there, the username will not be used and we're just going to return hello world. Um, so again, we're going to return a single data entity of the type greeting um, filled in with a message of hello world. Uh, later, when we have different formatted string there, we can return information that gives, says hello to a particular user, and we'll implement that later as well. So let's build that. And that was successful, so I'm going to open up um, services. Go to scribe, and we have to stop the agent, and then copy in our files. So here are our just created files. I'm going to copy those down here. And then restart the agent. Oh, if we go to the agent, it is still stopped, but it should be restarting soon. And we do that, so there it's restarted. So I'm going to build a solution. Call this hello world again. I think I'll save it at this point. So we don't have to go through that again. We're going to create an advanced map. <clears throat> and I'm going to use hello world connector for both sides. Getting metadata. So I want to bring this query over here. Look at that, and, and we're going to pick the greeting entity, and then we're going to try our preview again. So when I click on preview right now, the core is sending out a message to do a, a limited query on the to the agent for the connector, and it's going to call the execute query method, which we just implemented. And if everything goes according to plan, this should return hello world. Right there, it did. So we've only got the one message you can see there. Um, and we implemented that and everything worked fine. So that's good to see. Say OK there. So now we want to build our job a little bit. And uh, so we're going to take a for each result 
drag that over. And then we want to try and upsert. Now, as you've seen in earlier parts of this, we haven't implemented the execute operation, so we're going to see this fail, but let's see exactly how that works. So I'm going to pick the greeting again. And if we go to our fields to map this, I did want to point out here too that the properties on the source side only show the message because that's a queryable property or a used in query select and a on this side we have the greeting template as well because that's a used in action input property so we see that and you can see that message here is read only and that's why it's italic so for this greeting template I'm going to fill in a string here to say hello comma and then we'll use string formatting to put a parameterized value in there. So that would allow us to replace the username. I'm going to say OK. So we have our mapping working. Say OK to that. I'm going to save the map. OK. Need to save the solution. So now we've created our hello world solution instance. And I'm going to run that so we can see um, the failure in the execution history on the execution operation, execute operation. Uh, so right now, this is compiling the process there. And it's going to then send it down to the agent, where it'll get run when we hit Run Now. Should be any second now. And there we go. I'm going to select that run it. Now it's sending the message down to start it. Uh, this should be a very quick job because there is only one record and it's hard coded so there's very little connection time or query time here. But there is, there's a bit of back and forth between the client UI talking to the cloud and then talking to the agent. So we do have to wait for that to finish and then upload all the results. So well, that finished, and it finished with an error. So we'll go look at what that says. And we'll look at how one record failed. We'll look at our error. Operation failed, upsert greeting, and an unexpected error occurred. Let's go look in more detail at that error. Oops. Um, so it says the method or operation is not implemented, and that's because we haven't imp imp implemented our execute operation. Um, so in the next section, we will implement the execute operation and we'll have a complete Hello World connector.